brought to you by the Bose Headset 10 and by XMWX Satellite Weather. XMWX Satellite Weather is as vital as vision. Never fly blind again when you add XMWX Satellite Weather to your onboard electronic suite today. Come see the latest XMWX Satellite Weather has to offer at the AOPA Aviation Summit, Booth 731. Technum Aircraft is known in the U.S. primarily for light sport aircraft, such as this P-92 Eaglet. But they're branching out to something new. Technum Aircraft is bringing to the U.S. their P-2006 T. This is no LSA. This is a fully certified aircraft, Part 23, and these are the certified versions of the Rotax 912 engines. This aircraft will be on display here at AOPA Summit. I'm Jeff Van West for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer, and we're going to take a closer look at this aircraft and what makes it different from other aircraft you might be accustomed to. First, let's look at how this aircraft is conventional. Two 100 horsepower engines and four seats make it a 200 horsepower four-place aircraft, roughly comparable to a Cessna 182, a Cirrus SR20, or a Diamond DA40. And the performance numbers are in that ballpark, 140 knots worth of cruise, burning 10 gallons an hour, that's combined the two engines together, with a useful load of about 900 pounds. Conventional yokes, throttle quadrant, although with two throttles obviously, and no mixture control because this is a Rotax engine, full feathering props, and something you won't see in those comparable aircraft, retractable gear. Going a little further into the differences between this and some of the comparable aircraft, this pilot's door allows access to both the front seats. You come in through this side, and the seat retracts fairly far to let you get over to the right side. Access to the rear seats is through this passenger door on the right side of the airplane. Opening it up, when you look at the rear area of the plane, it's actually quite large. Not only does it have an open feel, it's a full 49.2 inches wide, and it carries that distance from the front all the way down towards the back, so both the front and rear seats enjoy that width. The baggage compartment will hold 176 pounds, and the rear seats quickly come out, so if you don't need them, you have a truly cavernous area to carry your gear. On the ground, the Technum Twin actually handles like a big single, and in the air, it doesn't feel that much different. It's got the weight of something like a 172, and the control weight, the feel on the stick of sort of a Cirrus or a DA-40. It's a stable, yet responsive and pretty easy flyer. Single engine work was almost a non-event, including approaches on one engine, with a climb rate of about 200 feet per minute once you got it cleaned up. Even when we let the airspeed get low, the Technum Twin was very forgiving. The plane we flew had kind of a mishmash panel with both a G950, the generic version of a G1000, and the analog gauges. The final airplane will be available with one or the other, the analog version going for just about 410000 and a fully equipped G950 plus an STEC 55X autopilot for just under 500000 One of the unknowns with this aircraft is going to be what it will cost to maintain and operate. It's a conventional aluminum airframe, so there are no surprises there. The service history on the Rotax engines has actually been fairly good, and more and more places around the country are able to service them. If you can burn Avgas, you should be able to operate the Technum Twin for under $60 an hour, not including a reserve for both of those engines. They're $12,000 a piece to overhaul, or about $24,000 a piece to replace, with a TBO of about 1,800 hours. And then, of course, the big unknown would be insurance. What is it going to cost to insure a half-million-dollar airplane, especially in a flight training environment, or where the pilot is a newly minted multi-engine pilot? And the $64,000 question is, will there be a market big enough in the United States for an aircraft like this? Technum says that they see their number one market niche as flight schools, and that makes sense to us. They see a secondary market as owners who want something comparable to the operating cost of a single, but with the reliability and additional safety of a second engine. We're not going to weigh in on whether we think that's going to happen, but we will say that there are over 100 of these airplanes on order in Europe, with 12 already delivered, and orders are starting to come in for the United States. Certification should happen sometime early next year. If you want to find out more about this aircraft, you can visit Technum North America's website at www.technum.net 
or you can check out the December issue of Aviation Consumer for a more in-depth review and a closer look at the numbers. I'm Jeff Van West, reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching. Fly with the acclaimed Bose Aviation Headset 10. Enjoy an unmatched combination of full-spectrum noise reduction, clear audio, and comfortable fit with the Bose Aviation Headset 10. Voted the number one headset for the eighth consecutive year in Professional Pilot's 2008 Headset Preference Survey. Purchased by December 31st, 2009, and receive a complimentary pair of Bose in-ear headphones, a $99 value. Learn more at Bose.com slash headset.